bring this shit on. Look at me. I can clean dirt. I love dirt. I can't even breathe next to the guy. Somebody light a match. That's what happens when you live in the past, you nasty shit. And now we present the 2024 spongitorial debate between Scrub Daddy and the raggediest yellow sponge you've ever seen. Let's toss it to our moderator for the evening, Dr. Dirt. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the 2024 spongitorial debate. My name is Dr. Dirt. Tonight we have two candidates vying for your support. First, we have the incumbent. He's been in an American kitchen since your grandmother's day and probably smells a little bit like it too. Yellow sponge, your opening statement, please. I resent that, Dr. Dirt. I'm happy to be here to represent all the OGs in the kitchen from yesteryear. Yeah, bro looks like he went to war, all bombed out and depleted. You all right? You all right, bud? What do you mean? I'm fine. You're just jealous I show the dirt and wear it like a badge of honor. I'm old enough to be your daddy. Gentlemen, please, please, please. As you just saw, we also have the young upstart who has certainly given the incumbent a run for his money in the recent past. The one, the only, Scrub Daddy. Bring this shit on, Dr. Dirt. We've been tearing up the cleaning game for over a decade now. Psh, I bet you like to eat that shit, Daddy. Why would, what makes you think that? At least it's better than smelling like shit all the time. Okay, let's, let's keep the potty talk to a minimum, gentlemen. We will start with a question for our incumbent. There are those who say that you can be a bit abrasive. How do you respond? I'd say that question is a bit abrasive, Dr. Dirt. Do you even have a PhD in anything? What kind of stupid question is that? Is that all you got? I clean up messes. What else is there to say, doctor? Are you even a doctor of dirt? You seem like a fraud. Okay then, Scrub Daddy, your response. Yeah, one, why does he sound like that? Two, he can't even answer the first question. I've been independently lab tested time and time again to not scratch at least 25 of the most common surfaces. That's goat status. Look at me, I can clean dirt. I love dirt. Oh my, I can't even breathe next to this guy. Somebody light a match. Dr. Dirt, light a match. Let's get to our next question. Adaptability is the key to success in the modern marketplace. To our incumbent, what is your stance on change and how does it affect your consumer? Change? Who cares about change? I've been everywhere. I can clean messes. I'm cheap. I'm the best there is and have been for decades. So what if I stink after a couple of uses? That just means I work. Yeah, it sounds like bro's stuck in the past. He's cheap because he doesn't last long. Probably in more ways than one. <laughs> hey, I'm the only that? sponge, hey, I'm the only sponge in the world with flex texture. I change my own texture depending on the temperature of the water. You can put me into warm water. I'm soft and I'm absorbent in cold water. I become stiff and even more powerful scrubbing machine. This sponge next to me is limp in any kind of temperature. I'll show you limp, you self-absorbed ass. I'm supposed to be a self-absorbed ass. I'm the greatest. I'm the greatest. I'm the <laughs> okay, greatest. okay. <laughs> gentlemen, gentlemen, gentlemen. Let's get back to the task at hand. We'll get to our next question. Speaking of durability, people buy you in hopes of making your kitchens and homes cleaner. Yet a dirty sponge can actually harbor more bacteria than a, a skibbity toilet. <clears throat> Who wrote this copy? So let me ask you, Scrub Daddy first, how long do you last before you start deteriorating? Dr. Dirt, I can last for weeks until I start showing any signs of slowing down. People use me when I am nothing but the shell of my former self. You can even toss me in the dishwasher and I come out as good as new. That should tell you a lot about how valuable I am compared to this guy. What's wrong with only being used for a few days? People like to indulge in a quick fix. Bro, have you smelled yourself? You're garbage. That's just the grime I removed. I know you're jealous, daddy. Jealous I don't have to smell like shit. I mean, seriously, talk to dirt. Do you smell that? It's like someone mixed up old eggs with licorice. What the hell? There is a, a bit of funk in the air. Uh, I don't want to be biased. Oftentimes, people like to use cleaning agents to assist with their scrubbing needs. But I want to ask you both, 
Is a cleaning agent absolutely necessary to clean your household items? We will start with the incumbent. I absolutely believe in other harsh cleaning agents to assist in cleaning. You think I can handle all of that on my own? That's a team effort to get the job done. More like being a lazy f Guys, hey. this is the most half-assed sponge I've ever talked to in my life. My flex texture can remove many stains and debris with just water. So you don't need any harsh cleaning agents or anything like that. I'm more than capable of cleaning up with some good old H2O. Oh, please. You can't be that dependable, daddy. That's what happens when you live in the past, you nasty sh**. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's reel this back in. We're going to go ahead and get to another um, important topic. You know, most people think of their kitchen sponges as only uh, cleaning interior surfaces. Uh, but I want to talk about the American automobile. Either one of you, can you clean the exterior of a car without scratching? And Scrub Daddy, I'll let you take the lead on this. Of course you can. Did you expect anything different from me, Dr. Dirt? Car exterior paint and I go together like PB&J. Just remember to rinse the exterior of your car first and remove any debris, stuff like that before you use me, but I'm like magic, baby. Oh, that's so cringe. Who would want to smile while cleaning your car? And who doesn't love a little scratch here and there? It gives the vehicle more character. You can even file an insurance claim if the scratch is big enough for me. Dude, that is like 100% insurance fraud, I'm pretty sure. Are you looking to go to jail? No one's gonna lock me up. I have sponge immunity. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna interrupt here. We're gonna move on. We have our final question. I wanna ask you before somebody here gets arrested. How important is it for the American people when deciding between the two of you on a matter of your appearance? We'll start with the incumbent. My appearance? My appearance, Dr. Dirt? Who cares about my appearance? Look at my eyes! I just clean the messes and build up dirt and grime in no time! That's what's most important. What's more important is for the people to have fun while they clean. My eyes can be used to get deep down in a cup, bowl, or a mug. My smile can suck up messes on utensils in no time. Who doesn't want some sloppy toppy from me? Oh, says the sponge that eats the cats and the dogs. I don't eat it. I clean it. You're just jealous because people love to use my mouth to suck shit up. Oh, that's so gross. Well, certainly things consider when the public goes to the polls and makes their vote. Well, Sponges, it's time for your closing statements. I will once again defer to the incumbent. What would you like to say to the American people? I have always been your sponge. You know me, America. Your grandmother knows me. Your mother knows me. Even your sister knows me. So what if I've never changed? No one's complained about it until this daddy showed up. And yeah, maybe he lasts longer and allegedly smells better. Is there any reason to just dump me? And what if he does work better than me? I say to the American people, don't be so lazy. Put your back into it. That's the problem with these kids today. You're all lazy. Maybe put your phones down for a few minutes and clean your fucking house. All right, not exactly what I think you'll need to win over the American population, but it is your funeral, Yellow Sponge. I'm sure you'll be joining me shortly, Dr. Dirt. You know, I choose not to argue with kitchen cleaning gadgets. Scrub Daddy, your final comment? Folks, this sponge next to me is mid, and I am the goat. That is all, have a fantastic day. <laughs> I like a sponge with few words. Gentlemen, I hope you're satisfied. It's now up to the American people to decide. Who will you pick in the 2024 spongitorial election. The yellow sponge incumbent or scrub daddy, you decide. FBI, open up! They're coming for me, oh God! Ah! Who cares about my appearance? Just look at